What is up guys? It's your boy Jesse. Thank you for tuning in again. So today I'm gonna be bringing you a little video that we didn't honestly think we we're gonna make. Just getting straight to the point. So we ended up selling the, the 300ZX, super unfortunate. Uh, we had lots and lots of plans for this, but uh, we have the opportunity to make something happen with another project. So we're gonna do that. And so yeah, so the car ended up being sold, uh, but it's actually right behind me. If you guys don't recall, we actually ended up uh, taking all the, the fenders off as well as the hood, oh no, not the hood, the front bumper. And we just kind of had it uh, basically as light as we could possibly get it. Very fortunate enough, uh, my, one of my brothers ended up buying it. This is that bum right there. <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, so we actually ended up putting the car together. Uh, we didn't record that process, but the car is complete. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So you guys recall the car used to be that color of the bumper and we ended up taking off the wrap and then we ended up taking off the, the fenders. We took off the fenders because they ended up being really bad, but my buddy wanted to save them. So we actually had to cut the bottom part of them. And yeah, I mean, they worked. We put a self tap around them and I mean, it ain't the prettiest thing, but it, it works. And yeah, so he's actually gonna be uh, making this into a little project and so far it's already going in a good direction um, he's ordered a couple parts and with those parts I hopefully we can get the car to be uh, running and driving right because the car runs and drives perfectly fine uh, we hooked the battery up that was in there for like six months and it started right up like in a heartbeat and yeah the car runs great so for right now we're gonna go ahead and take off the wheels and we're gonna go ahead and mess with the control arms if you guys don't recall uh we had problems with the control arms because they were straight off ebay the cheapest shit i could get and uh they unfortunately didn't work so we're gonna see if we can make them work this time around and if we can't uh we'll move from there uh, the reason why we didn't record last time is because we actually didn't have this tool. Uh, we wanted to really show you what the problem was on the car. And uh, this is the key for tuner lug nuts. I call them rice lug nuts, but um, it's like a weird point. It's like a seven point, six point. Super weird. But I know like like AutoZone sells these type of lug nuts. So he has these lugs on, lug nuts on him for right now. Who knows if he will have them forever, but hopefully not. All right, guys. So we, we got the wheel off. Uh, super quickly so what we did was we put these lower control arms it might be a little dark hopefully it isn't so we put these new lower control arms but here and here uh, where it meets the knuckle uh, it's actually uh, too small on this lower control arm man there's a bunch of shit down here hopefully there's no spiders but we're gonna take these lower control arm all it is is one ball joint right there and then a bolt right here and then another bolt right here that connects to the tension rod and then we'll go ahead and give you guys an update What's up guys? Uh, it's actually day two. So unfortunately yesterday uh, we couldn't finish up the car. So um, I noticed that this kid uh, had commented on the video saying that we had missed uh, removing a, like a little sleeve off of the old control arms or the ball joints. Um, at the time I tried tugging on them and they didn't come off. So I'm pretty sure you have to like put some force into it. And on top of that, my dad actually ended up throwing away the control arms before I could even uh, take that sleeve off. So fortunately enough, uh, when we went on when we went to install the new control arms yesterday, uh, we noticed that we needed that sleeve. So uh, after looking online, we found that information and we ended up calling the local Nissan dealership and we got those like next day. So uh, my buddy actually ended up picking them up and we have the parts all right here. Let me go ahead and show you the parts that we're gonna be installing. So same exact eBay special uh, lower control arm set that I had bought previously. Uh, this is actually a set that they had sent me extra for the inconvenience of the last set. And then here we have the actual parts that we need. Um, I'll go ahead and show it more in depth, but it's just like a little cylinder that slips over the ball joint. And we're gonna be doing uh, the outer end links as well, just because the ones that are on the car look like complete and utter shit. And then we also have a sway bar end link because when the, the kid who had it before us, um, when he crashed it into the curb, this, this was a part that failed on it and it allowed uh, that to take the damage instead of like the whole suspension. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and start working on, on this side and then we'll record the process on the other side because it's super dark on this side, but we're just gonna knock this out, this side out real fast. All right guys, so we just finished the side up. Uh, my friend is currently setting up the control arms for the other side. Um, they've been sitting in the sun, so they're like a thousand degrees, but back here, uh, the control arms are in. Um, we were just messing with the whole alignment and trying to get it to our liking, but um, here is the ball joint. 
um, as you guys can see uh, it's seated properly I mean it looks kind of weird back back here but um, it'll be alright we're gonna go ahead and test drive it as is to see how it works um, but we should definitely not feel that binding we were feeling before and in the event that it was binding we know that it's likely gonna be the rack and I mean it's a simple swap so right now we're gonna go ahead and work on the other side and we'll give you guys a little glimpse of how you do it I mean it's pretty simple all you do is uh, literally loosen two bolts and then uh, like a nut and the whole control arm and tension rod comes out as a unit um, on the other side we actually already pulled it off we just did it so that it could be a simple swap like we could smack it on real quickly once we had the part but we also do got to do the sway bar and link on that on that side so we got the sway bar in there I mean the sway bar and link in there super simple um, I didn't record it when we were putting it in because it was that easy um, but we just got to tie these bolts I mean the nuts in the back of this and it'll be fine and then we'll make our way to the lower control arm Right, guys so I actually forgot to make the outro um, my buddy's right there uh, we actually drove the car back to his house and the car ran, ran great um, we kind of got a little scare when before we left uh, we checked the coolant reservoir or I mean we, we checked the, the radiator cap and there was like a little like sludge on it and he quickly assumed it was a head gasket and I was like nah bro I'm like it has to have like it has to have a uh, like straight water from like the hose so of course like the car sat for a long time probably man like a year and a half to be honest and so of course that water is going to get rusty so when we flushed it like all the water was like uh almost like a yellow but seeing that this car had a bad head gasket it was nothing like that so that's why i was like i was sure that it was just that so i mean we're still going to be making a video on that if it does end up being something that that we don't think it is but i don't think it is and yeah so i'm gonna include uh, a few little rollers uh in the shot that i just recorded of him driving But yeah, guys, um, everything went smooth and we got the car. Uh, we got it somewhat to where it should be. Uh, we still have to tweak with the suspension. Um, he might take it to an align alignment shop just so he can see if possibly something is out of whack because uh, the driver's, no, the passenger side front wheel where the car had taken an impact upon that curb, um, it's still a little, it has like a little bit of positive camber. And the car itself, uh, we ended up finding like washers behind uh, what what holds the like the camber arm, and we found that to be really weird. But we took off the the washers, and um, it didn't really make a difference. So we'll see what comes from that. But but yeah, guys, just wanted to give you guys that little update that the car has been sold, and unfortunately, we don't have that drift car no more. But he's gonna be making something out of it, so I'll be recording that. And yeah, guys, so thank you so much. You better drift that shit, bitch.